Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Since 1981, every vehicle in the United States has had a unique 17 digit identifier code. Is it a random code or is there actually a pattern and protocol? Hey, stick with me and I'll decode the VIN for you. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Like we said, since 1981, every vehicle has a 17 digit VIN, which is a vehicle identification number. To call a VIN a VIN number is like a vehicle identification number number, or like a PIN, a personal identification number number. Why do it? It's redundant, but you hear it a lot. But each of these unique 17 digit codes tell a lot about the vehicle. And at first glance, you may look and say, it's just a random generated number. Au contraire, there's a pattern here. Let's take a look and we'll show you the different sections and what they tell you about your vehicle or one that you're contemplating purchasing or in the salvage yard or wherever it might be. In 1981, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration of the United States standardized the VIN. This is actually a graphic that's courtesy of our friends at AutoZone uh, that show how this is all broken down. Well, the first three digits right here are actually what's called the WMI section or the World Manufacturer section. So these numbers are gonna tell you what country it was made in and who it was that made it. Section number four or four through over here, this is called the vehicle description section. And what's interesting about this, this tells you all sorts of things related to uh, the body style, whether it's an SUV, a multi-purpose vehicle, a truck, a light truck, uh, all sorts of things. The codes are all in there. If I count over nine positions, three, six, nine, right here, this is a check digit that was generated by the Department of Transportation, and it uses a complex mathematical formula generated off the rest of this and other data to create a random number that identifies whether or not this is a legitimate VIN or not. So that is a check digit there. The next area, the next section here, is known as the vehicle ID section. Uh, position 10 through 17. Now, what's interesting, 10 right here with a alphabetical designation tells what the year is. And it depends on the manufacturer when they started counting in 1981 or another zero base number if they started with year one or year zero. And then it put it to the 26 positions of the alphabet of what that designates, but that is what the vehicle year is. This next one tells you the plant location. So to give you an interesting little segue, on our personal vehicle, we thought it was manufactured in the United States because it is a quintessential American brand. We found that it was made in plant just north of the border in Canada, and we're able to find that through these numbers. The last set of digits here, they may use this from a de some different areas to identify uh, some particulars about your vehicle, but this is generally a unique set of numbers to your vehicle, and many times it's just simply sequential, production run number that says how many of this had come off that line over a period of time that is unique only to your vehicle and is not generated through any mathematic uh, means an algorithm or anything like that. Each one of these sections means something very specific. All right, let me point you to two great resources right now. These do a better job of describing or telling you exactly what each of the numbers mean for your particular situation. So instead of describing them point by point, you simply can go to one of these two locations that we found, and I'm sure there's others, but one is the most authoritative, and that is the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration VIN decoder site. You'll find that link in the description below and you can go right there, click on it and go to the real deal 
and it'll tell you all about your vehicle and do the check on that check digit to make sure it's a legit VIN. Uh, and it'll give you some information I think you'll find uh, very interesting. Secondly, you can go to the AutoZone site of which we got the graphic that we were demonstrating from. Uh, but they also have a decoder and it's more related to making sure you're getting the right parts and so forth for your particular vehicle, but it still offers some great information and there's more overview on the VIN system itself. So those are two great resources. You can find them right below in the description. And if you really wanna geek out on this subject and know more about the VIN system, how it came to be, its permutations overall, how it looked like before 1981, what other countries do, how they play against each other, all that stuff so you can be the most informed, interesting conversationalist at your next pool party. Hey, check out the link below that we show you at Wikipedia. Another resource you'll find very helpful is understanding how your tire pressure monitoring system works. Check out this video where we explain it and what to do if you get that pesky light that comes on, says you have a low tire and you can't quite clear it. We'll walk you through it and how those systems work and how to get out of that problem quickly. And while you're at it, check out this other video from our catalog that YouTube wants to present to you because it thinks it's exactly what you wanna see. And we think you're gonna like it too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay.